target locked. Fire. Welcome back, watch people. And as promised, um, I'm gonna unveil the new Ducati Multistrada Grand Turismo V4 S. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? So this is the new bike for summer 2021. I've ordered quite a few extras for this bike. Unfortunately, because of lockdown, um, Ducati uh, have not been delivering parts. So I'm gonna have to wait um, for some of the extras. I've got a carbon fiber front mud guard. I've got a rear carbon fiber on order. Also, I've got um, a heated lowered comfort seat on order. Um, but I thought I'd just give you a little look around the bike today um, after announcing that this was gonna be my new ride for the summer 2021. Um, I've unfortunately, since I collected it, it's been pouring with rain, gale force winds, and I've managed to put uh, about 80 miles, 100 miles on the bike. Um, it's been uh, really crappy weather. It's been really bad. You can see over there in the back, it comes with panniers. I'm not really a pannier type person if I'm honest but they are actually handy um, they came um, with the bike um, along with this little pouch that goes on the bars this is really handy something great about this bike is that um, these light up let me just turn the ignition on a minute now that is a rear hazard warning light so if something is approaching you um, from behind they will light up just like in a lot of cars today so it's a real nice bit of modern technology um, safety also has um, uh, adaptive cruise control um, that also uh, is a feature of this bike I haven't had a chance to use it yet um, but what I can tell you about it is it's an immensely powerful bike immensely powerful um, <laughs> it's quite odd actually unlike a lot of bikes um, that have got all the power down low um, oh, I had the spotlights for it as well this bike all its power seems to be up the top end. I mean, I took it down the, the M23 the other day and it gets up to 70 so quickly, but then it's really asking to move on. Um, I think they say that the top speed on this bike is about 165 mile an hour, um, but I have absolutely no intentions of, uh, of testing that. I think I'll take their word for it. I'll give you a, 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 you can have a listen to the engine. It's a bit disappointing to be honest. These, new Euro 5 emissions. Um, I might change the exhaust, um, although it's got the um, Akropovic exhaust on it, it's still got the um, catalytic converter, which is really what prevents it from making any decent noise. But let's just uh, switch this on. as you can see not the uh, you know not the best of sounds coming out of the back but I've had bikes before that make all the noise and as I feel it's a safety feature but quite honestly um, I'm looking for a bit of peace and quiet with this bike so yeah we'll see how it goes how does it compare to the BMW R1250 GS well in all fairness it is a different bike I would say it's probably um, a bit more of a hooligan bike than the uh, than the BMW. Um, certainly, it wants to go, that's for sure. But um, yeah, once I've got a few miles on it, I'll do a little bit of a review on it. Not just for my channel viewers, but for people that are you know potentially interested in buying this bike. It's always very helpful, I think, to get a, a proper owner's review rather than the sponsored reviews. Right, guys, I thought uh, I'd show you that today. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Oh, by the way, I'm thinking of buying a, a small bike as well for the summer, a little run around, something that's got low capacity. And probably favorite for that would be the KTM 390 Duke, just something to play around with. I was thinking about that Kawasaki, no, sorry, I was thinking about the Suzuki XRS 900, um, but I think I'm gonna go for something with a smaller engine capacity that's a bit more light and a bit more flickable. Um, just as uh, for a bit of fun. Right, let me know what you think, guys, on my choice. And uh, if I do go for a second bike, which one should I go for? Thanks for watching. Speak again soon.